So we've been following breaking news out of Las Vegas all morning long. More than 50 people have been killed and at least 200 people injured in a mass shooting at a country music concert. Jason Aldean had taken the stage for the last night of the three day festival when several rounds went off. Among the dead, two police officers. In the last couple of minutes, we've been informed that an off duty officer who was hurt is now out of surgery and we're told that his condition is stable. Police say that the shooter, identified as 64 year old Stephen Paddock, mm -hmm. took aim on the show from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Paddock was later killed. We've learned that he does have ties to North Texas, living in Mesquite most recently in 2010, but also has other addresses dating back to 1998. He also has a Texas driver's license. Police say that they found his companion as they tried to determine a motive for this horrific attack. The three day Route 91 Harvest Festival was sold out and featured some of the biggest country stars. As we mentioned, Jason Aldean was on stage at the time. This video shows the chaos that ensued, and Aldean ran off the stage. He posted an image to Instagram overnight. You'll see it there with the words, Pray for Las Vegas. He commented, Tonight has be been beyond horrific. I still don't know what to say, but wanted to let everyone know that me and my crew are safe. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved. It hurts my heart that this would happen to anyone who was just coming out to enjoy what should have been a fun night. Hashtag heartbroken. Hashtag stop the hate. And messages of shock and support are pouring in from other country artists this morning. Chris Young tweeting, spent I don't know how long on the floor of a trailer behind the stage. I know multiple people are dead. Listening to that gunfire, he adds, I'm literally shaking still. Ending the series of tweets with why. And Arlington country singer Maren Morris just tweeted a few minutes ago about this, saying she played Route 91 in Vegas the night before last. We were all singing. I'm in shock over this, heartbroken for all those lives taken too soon. And President Trump is awake and tweeting, and this attack, now the worst mass shooting in recent history, the deadliest since last summer's Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. He sent out this last tweet in the last 20 minutes, I should say, my warmest condolences and sympathies to the victims and families of the terrible Las Vegas shooting. God bless you. The president is scheduled to travel to Puerto Rico tomorrow. No word if that will now change.